The gloves are on because I'm about to do something that I wouldn't normally recommend. I'm going to open a lithium cell. And it's a fairly dangerous thing to do, so I do have the explosion containment pie dish right here just in case things go wrong. Now this, and I'll zoom down it, this is a 360 milliamp hour uh, cell out of a vapour device, but it's in a capacitor style package, which is quite interesting. And I have fully discharged this before actually doing this, because the biggest danger of a lithium cell isn't the fact it contains lithium, it's the fact that uh, it stores a lot of energy, and when you release that energy very quickly, things can get quite violent, especially because the electrolyte is highly flammable in traditional lithium cells, not so much lithium iron phosphate cells. Looking forward to seeing how the technology of sodium ion cells pans out, because I'm not quite sure what they're using as electrolyte in the ones that are commercially available. So let's peel this open. And hope it all just slides out conveniently. Is it going to have that lovely pear drop smell of carcinogenic uh, solvents? And is it going to be stuffed to the hilt? So I'm peeling this round. And what I'm expecting to find in here is the rolled up foils and uh, separators. With a bit of tape around them, that's exactly what it is. Does it smell nice? Yes, it's got that lovely pear drop smell. No, I didn't take a huge sniff. It's safe. So let's unravel this and see how they actually terminated onto the... Well, maybe we can separate this now and see how they terminated onto these. And how thermally conductive it would be. So there's a copper electrode. That makes sense. There's the aluminium one. Because one of the electrodes of a lithium cell is copper and one is aluminium. Covered in graphite on one electrode. I'm not sure how I'm going to actually get... Particularly with gloves on. I don't think it's going to be easy to peel this off. Uh, covered, well, the, one of the electrodes is graphite and one of the electrodes is usually something like lithium cobalt oxide. That's the controversial one that all the wee babies in foreign countries are being used to mine it, apparently a few. Believe the very selective images from the media. This will change. With the advent of uh, the newer sodium technology, that will hopefully change, but we'll see what happens. No signs of explosive heat yet. This is good. So this will be the two foils uh, coiled together with a separator and soaked in that um, lithium-loaded uh, solvent. So here we go. Here's a separator that keeps them apart. And one of these electrodes will probably change colour. In real time, you can see it kind of drying off immediately, the solvent, um, and it will probably oxidise very quickly. Any heat yet? Nothing really noticeable. Strong solventy smell now. I'll try not to sniff in too much of that. There is a good ventilation here. So they have kind of filled it up fairly completely. Here is the copper electrode. I'm not sure which is which. I'm not sure which material is in the copper electrode. And the aluminium electrode. This is a... seems to have more layers. And then, let me pull the separator out. So they've bonded. They've not bonded it halfway along. They've bonded it near one end of the roll, the actual electrode here. Yeah, there's a separator, and here is the other electrode. It's just a well rolled up piece of foil. Oh, actually, do they have two separate ones? No, this is just uh, the uh, separator with some of the coating on it, either graphite or the uh, lithium cobalt oxide. Well, that is it. That It's very classic construction for these. Uh, pretty much what you'd find in here, but this one is just basically in a foil pouch rolled up tightly and then a bit of tape put in it. Um, so nothing really much to say. That is what's inside these cells. I do have to say that this one was supposed to be 360 milliamp hour. I did not get that capacity. I measured more like 280 milliamp hour, if that. Um, so I don't know how that goes in terms of the amount of chemistry in it, or if it, maybe it just because it had been used once and it depleted. But I would expect the lithium cells to take multiple charges. I shall continue doing tests, though, because I do have another one of those cells on standby somewhere near here. It is right here. I'll continue doing the tests on and doing the charge and discharge cycles.
to see how it fares. Uh, but that is it. That's what's inside these uh, miniaturised. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see the huge mess I've now made in the bench. What's inside these miniaturised uh, aluminium can capacitor style lithium ion cells. 